127.5 Philippine 971. Hello YouTubers, we're back in part 2 of our commercial flight tutorial and uh, where are we now? So we are descending into Mactan airspace and I've been advised to tune into 127.5 Oops Alright So here it is, kung hindi nyo man alam kung anong sasabihin ninyo sa totoong ATC Well, uh, magkakontak lang kayo and then mag-report kayo kung anong altitude ninyo Kami location, here it goes Mactan Center, Philippine 971 with you at flightable 290. Philippine 971, Mactan Center, Roger. Okay, so I think this is the tutorial that we descend and approach. I made a very first tutorial with the Boeing uh, 747 using the PMDG. Just only a tutorial for a cold and dark up to take off last time. Before descent, pwede kayo mag-discuss ng co-pilot ng approach procedure after na mag-contact ka sa ATIS, sa ATIS. What else? Yung auto brakes. Sa Airbus, meron tayong low, medium, and max. Sa pag-landing natin, uh, nakaset tayo sa auto brakes. And then, pagka naabot na tayo ng speed of 70 knots, uh, retract natin ng reversers which uh, it helps for slowing down the engine speed. And we will set for manual brake. Kahit, eh, kahit kailan nyo naman gusto mag manual brake eh sa totoong buhay man eh matigas naman yun eh <laughs> kaya wala okay I think we also need to manage the approach phase uh, let's use the standard QNH because uh, I'm using the default flight simulator weather condition which is uh, fair weather I don't know the temperature yeah, forget it I'm sorry I'm not on top form today captain I really didn't need that second bottle of Chardonnay last night I don't know. Uminom daw si ate. Ay! You take a shot! Oh, no. Hey, give me some beer. <laughs> Lasing ka na. Lasing na ako. Wala pa nga yung organic juice ko. Walang-walang laman. <laughs> okay. In the uh, ATC menu, we could select... Uh, Philippine Niner 7-1. Descent and maintain flight level wait. 1 or 0 the sentiment in uh, flight level 1900, Philippine 971. Okay, so we are requesting to descend to flight level 1900. We could uh, tune into ATIS weather condition in the default ATC menu, or if you know the frequency of Mactan Mach ATIS. If we already know the condition of the runway, we are going to use. Still, we are using default weather engine, which is fair weather. We took off runway 6 in the area, so it is just nearly in runway 4 of Mactan. So, there's no ILS, we use uh, VOR approach. Well, in default flight plan in uh, Flight Simulator X, default GPS, uh, you could also manage there if you could. So, as we descend, I'm requesting everyone to fasten your seatbelts. You can also turn off the... the Please fasten your seatbelt. Ayan na, pinapag na kayo. <laughs> okay, pwede nyo rin patayin ng anti-ice kung gusto ninyo. Just prefer for uh, landing lights when it passed through 10,000 feet. And the barometer, we need to set it to in 2992 as the default one. As we are using the same uh, weather uh, condition. Now we are in the flight of 34 minutes after takeoff. That's real time in cruise flight. Now it's 35 minutes. We're descending to Moloch. We just passed Rojas Airport, Iloilo and Bacolod on our side. So it means na kung Iloilo man to, eh de nandito na yun. And it's just right about nearly here. Then there's Mactan up front. That's the island. Ano nga, siguro pag default aircraft nyo mo na magagamit nyo eh na-enjoy rin kayo sa view eh Kabisado nyo na yung mapa kapag na-explore nyo na Slow mode nyo man, umakit kayo sa outer space Last time yun din nagamit kong mga aircraft noon Before I was buying all these spare aircrafts that I could afford The Airbus A321, the default You could the download freeware of Project Airbus uh, A320 if uh, your graphics card is not nearly ported with this uh, high graphical model of the payware aircrafts Meron din ng mga payware aircrafts na kaya naman sa low graphics uh, Sorry po kung medyo maingay ako malakas ang hangin <laughs> Maka totohanan lang Yeah, that's the FS passengers again The co-pilot is speaking 
I also have the tutorial for the FS passengers kung paano ilagay mga audio files sa mga flight announcement from takeoff to climb. Fortunately, pwede nyo namang modify yun. Mukha yeah. kayo ng bagong folder, i-copy and replace nyo lang yung the same file name, the specific sounds na i-announce during the flight. Okay, I've been descending to 900,000. Sorry, hindi ko na-record yung ATC, but uh, yes. So, we just passed transition altitude. We're now flight level 174. 2991 pala ang sinabi ng ATC kanina, so yes. About sa VATSIM, it is an online network organization na pwede lahat ng mga pilots or virtual pilots playing FSX, FS9, uh, FS2004 version, FSX Team Edition, uh, what else, Prepar 3D, all versions, explain. Para makakunik kayo sa isang organizational network flying online together with realistic ATC, realistic air traffic controllers. Well, you need to download some third-party add-ons like the V-Pilot, the FSIMN, and the Squawk Box. Well, it is a worldwide international uh, online flight together with other people. So you're connecting, you could uh, share aircrafts with, depending on the aircrafts, uh, by using Hamachi or you could also run through multiplayer mode via FSX. So you could share aircrafts and then fly together with the default ATC. But uh, you, you might want to need a different flight number. So, baka bihira lang. First of all, I want to talk about V-Pilot. V-Pilot is what I'm using nowadays. Uh, yung V-Pilot is merong mga set of matching types, aircrafts na AI traffic, which is called IVAO. Yun na mga model aircrafts na para makita mo yung ibang pilots na lumilipad sa, from within the airspace, within everywhere else. Maganda yung user interface, mga bilis mag-connect. Freely smoothly to perform its UI and the processor. Next up, yung FSINN, it, it is my second favorite one. Uh, pwede ka mang pumili ng kahit anong model aircraft sa iyong na-save dyan, sa, sa iyong aircraft folder, kahit anong model, uh, paper man, a freeware, pwede mo. Contact McTan, approach 121.2. Ah, okay. 121.2, Philippine 9071. So, sa mga ganyan, so you need to be alert in case na sa online online flight, you need to be alert. Minsan naman, tinatawag naman kayo ng air traffic controller if check kung uh, are you still with them. So, first off, I will be uh, explaining later about the online vessel. Pagtan approach, Philippine 9071, with you leaving 11,900, descending 9,000. Philippine 9071, fly heading 175, descend and maintain 5,000. Expect vectors to ILS runway for approach. Lapu Lapu Tansabu International. Altimeter to nine or nine or one. Runway four nga. Tama. Fly heading one seven five. Descend and maintain five thousand. Philippine nine or seven one. Turn left heading two four five. Cebu three eight nine or. We are passing ten thousand feet. We are prepared for uh, landing lights. To turn it on. Also the auto brakes. Ah, uh, gusto ko yung low, siyempre. Para uh, trail yung landing. Kung gusto nyo man magdumaget, ay kayo bala. Kung gusto nyo yung medium, uh, tagbilaran, takloban, bakolod. If you want to fast exit, wanna take a medium. But if you want to take a fast taxi, sa waktan, nangyayari yan. So you want to take a low water break. As what, we, as what I said earlier, uh, we will be taking manual break approaching 70 knots if you could Reduce speed 180 Philippine 9 or 71. So just what like I explained earlier, uh, INN is also good. And also provides uh, radar UI. Uh, Turn right heading 195 Philippine 9 or 71. Check your speed if uh, lower na sa, sa maximum. You could uh, take flaps one down. Now I will reduce speed. Now I will uh, declare flaps to flaps one. Para mabalance yung aircraft into normal angle. Well, uh, malaya pa naman tayo sa Mactan eh. Baka lalo pa mag-drag yung airspeed sa flaps to pang mag-flaps to tayo. So, FSINN, yes. It's good to connect. Ay, makakalog. Yan ay turbulence. <laughs> Nagkataon. Turn left heading 180. This is going to maintain 3000. Philippine 9071. And lastly, the squawk box. Well, it is the first one I know to connect to Batsim. Ginagamit yung mga AI traffics is VIP. May sarili nilang gawa yun eh. I must be also alert to 
for the approach. In 15 the nautical miles from... Yes, we are 13 the nautical miles from the airport. Pag apat ng 15, pwede na natin i-ready ang approach checklist. Nati declare ang speed natin for uh, automatic uh, computation for landing. So, hindi ko na lang nalagay yung temperature at uh, magnitude and wind. Well, it depends. Well, sige, assuming natin na uh, temperature natin dito is 32 degrees with the uh, 0, 0, 0 and 0 degrees of wind. Sige, okay. I think uh, we have a 10 knot wind. Turn right heading to well, 9 knots. Uh, okay, sige, assuming natin na uh, heading uh, 0, 06. Zero wind with a speed of five knots, I think. One hand. Well, this is uh, for the MCDUs FMC. For those who have FMC, well, technically you could have this kind of a tutorial. You could find plenty of tutorials in YouTube for default aircrafts. No, ginamit ko yung default. Dito lang talaga ako tumitingin sa sa autopilot panel, so. So, dapat makancha mo yung speed, uh, nakapag-research ka ng limitation ng speeds, paulit-ulit na yung GPWS, or ground proximity warning. Okay na? Okay. It is called ground proximity warning system, yung 2,500. Meron yan din sa mga default aircraft, sa uh, you could download it for add-on. Pag merge mo yun sa model ng aircraft, pag papalta mo yung aircraft configure, panel configure, files. I done that before without any knowing of this airsoft airbus. Pwede na ako mag-flaps to. Uh, pwede na rin. Flaps to. Turn right heading one nine or zero. There are also limitations of speeds. Uh, wait lang, ako na pala yun. Turn right heading one nine or zero, Philippine nine or seven one. Right. Yung mga ATC, siyempre sa... Akala ko ako na. <laughs> sa VATSIM, may nakikita ka rin sa radar, siyempre, ATC. Uh, who knows who could see you. Kinakansya nila ang iyong distance for approach. Just like this one. Turn left heading 155, the center maintain 2000, Philippine 9071. Right, so this is our navigation. Sa GPS, meron din naman yan, kaya nyo yan. <laughs> Toon naman sa radar panel, uh, pwede kang magpalit ng ILS frequency. Uh, dito sa airsoft naman, I could insert here the ILS frequency for the runway, which is uh, 109.90. Ayan na, so na input naman. So we'll be going back to the left into that intersection so for the approach checklist briefing confirmed uh, you talk about that during cruise it comes status check seat belts are yeah they are on landing lights yes they are on uh, what else barrel ref 2991 set MDA decision height that's for those who have FMC that is a 200 feet set engine mode selector I did not change that that's normal okay uh, approach checklist complete. Turn left heading 100, Philippine 9 or 71. Okay, we're uh, turning now and intercept the uh, localizer. But it don't have ILS. If it has, well, okay. Philippine 9 or 71, maintain 2000 until established on localizer. Cleared for ILS runway for approach. Contact oh, my ILS, okay. Good. Maintain 2000 until establishment localizer. Clear for ILS runway for approach 118.1, Philippine 9071. Good day. Okay, that's the Mactan Tower. That's for approach. If we are captured now for the localizer, manual lang. Yung auto land, which is after the ILS has been captured, yung yun sa yun. Uh, before that, uh, you could press approach. And then, kung gusto niyo man eh, cut 3 dual for uh, sure landing, it is uh, you call the set full to autopilots there. It's not necessary for default aircrafts. Uh, okay, we're now reducing speed. Before we're going to flaps 3, we need to gear down first. Okay, flaps full ko na kasi pababa na. Contact. Mactan Tower, Philippine 9 or 71, with you on ILS runway 4. Philippine 9 or 71, Mactan Tower, Roger. Nakaptured na tayo sa ILS glide slope. Yan, yan. Pwede, nyo, pwede na kayo mag-auto land yan. You need to disengage the autopilot when it touch down. 
Yan, auto land na yan. So, there's no worry to having any... Ah, naboboring ako. Philippine Niner 7-1. Clear to land runway 4. Magmamanual ako. Clear to land runway 4. Philippine Niner 7-1. Siyempre, kung nahirapan kayo sa visibility, uh, well, you could auto land. Gusto nyo? Ah, tara, gawin natin. Ayan, binalik ko agad yung autopilot. Woo, foggy! <laughs> Wala talaga tayo makita. But guys, we are now approaching and landing. Yes. This is the Autoland. Alam ko may nagtanong sa akin kung paano mag-Autoland. Well, this is it. Uh, for PMDG777747, uh, they have different configuration files. Sa default aircraft, meron din yan. Uh, you need, just need to configure your GPS and then your uh, ILS. The frequency, rather. Yun lang yun. Frequency, nav 1, N1. You need to switch to nav 1, by the way. Yun sa mga default aircrafts. So, anything we missed? Nothing? Okay. Ayan, nakikita na natin yung lupa. Kung gusto nyo pa, nataasan ko pa yung fag. <laughs> okay na yun. We're on 1,000 feet. Pwede rin kayo mag-manual. Susundan nyo lang naman yung ILS sa... Glide slope indicator there, the violet ones. Eh, kung wala, 400. Bala kayo. <laughs> okay, I have controls. 300. I also have red. Oi! Hey! Hey, midalawang mid Cebu Pacific na nag aabang. Alright, I love that. 100. Oh, bob na tayo sa glide slope. Well, it's well, so right. 50, 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. 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 That's what we call oscillated landing. Get up. Uh, okay. Flaps 3. Flaps 2. Flaps 1. Trust climb. That, that's what we call misapproach. Even we touch down, there's oscillated landing. If even you're not sure you performed landing correctly well, you need to go around para hindi maflat ng gulong. <laughs> Well, this is another tutorial for that. We need to go around, we need to set altitude to 4,000 feet. I did not perform that earlier. I've been flying misapproach and then just wait for... We need to request the ATC for misapproach. Mactan Tower, Philippine 971 misapproach. Then he will contact you soon to what will be the next condition. We'll be having our own heading now. Philippine 971 misapproach. Philippine 971. Roger. Fly published missed. Fly published missed Philippine 971. 7344. Surface wind calm. Runway 4 clear takeoff. Runway 4 clear takeoff. 7344. Right. If you are ready for next approach, then you just contact. Well, there's no problem in any of this uh, kind of situation. You want to go around, you just request the online air traffic controller. That's normal and that's fun. It's challenging. Did you copy? Pero sana naman may wasan din natin to. If ever <laughs> in any online virtual flights, you could not. Dapat na dapat hindi niyo i-activate ang crash detection ng inyong flight simulator. Ah, uh, yeah, first passenger lang yata. Okay lang yata eh. Na-flat ang gulong pag landing. Ah, uh, pero dapat may iwasan natin lagi yung mga crash detections in online flights because uh, it will be hard to control for other people's online. Even though nasa Las Vegas tayo, nasa BCS Airport tayo, nasa Chicago Airport. Ah, ewan ko lang sa Mactan. Pwede naman yata. Pero kung na-crash Kayo, dapat Runway 4 clear takeoff. Cebu 465. Another rule sa VATSIM na hindi dapat kayo mag-spawn or mag-start sa runway ng airport or any runway na merong active ang control tower. Did you copy? Or baka maban kayo or something. 
Another one is na hindi na hindi dapat kayo magpost sa ele ng sobrang tagal. Well, you really need to disconnect your uh, vet sim if kung gusto naman ihihina kayo sa ele o ano uh, during the approach. Bawal talaga yun because you'll get violated or banned one week, one month depending on the supervisor. At nagawa na yun sa akin. <laughs> Pwede kayo mag-contact sa email nila if ever something wrong happened. Uh, katulad ng internet problems and so on. Well, I'm ready for the approach in runway 4 so I'll contact the tower. Philippine 971 request another approach. Fly heading 050. Descend and maintain 2900. Expect vectors to ILS runway 22 approach. Wapu Wapu Mactan Sebu International. Altimeter 2983. Fly heading 050. Descend maintain 2900. Philippine 9071. Philippine 9071. Reset transponder. Squawk 3014. Reset transponder. Squawk 3014. Philippine 9071. So, we are advised runway 22 dahil pinalitan ko pa ang weather. <laughs> okay. Tamang-tama na go around ako dahil nakalimutan ko yung landing checklist. But, but uh, I think we already know that. Landing checklists are very simple in Airbus, cabin crew need to advise auto thrust, their speed, auto thrust, uh, depending if you want to get uh, automatic thrust or manually. ICA memo, which means there's no blue indicator over here. Landing checklist complete. Well, that's only simple as that. After we go around, we're going back to the checklist again to provide after take off checklist landing gear up flaps retracted packs on that's why i al i also have an fs2 crew here so uh, there's a co-pilot that will be guiding me for uh, checklist concerns and uh, anything else during my flights as you can see all my videos i have uh, done with the co-pilot with all the checklists i've done never missed one or such well except for this well i can see the land don't forget to set approach phase. UNH. Assuming we get a wind of 20 degrees at uh, 4 knots. Bracer is uh, 20, 34. Right. MCD is set. Philippine 9 or 71. Turn right heading 050. Turn right heading 050. Philippine 9071. Hey, <laughs> kunting ikot lang. <laughs> In advice pa ako nun. Sa mga VATS in events, it will be fun. There will be online ATC. There are Philippine plenty of... Philippine 9071. Turn right heading 110. Ah. Descend and maintain 1900. Turn right heading 110, descend and maintain 1900, Philippine 971. Okay, as I am saying, dun sa bat sim, merong uh, maraming mga events, special events. If uh, napag-iisipan din ng uh, virtual uh, service group, they could also give you prices like sceneries or any paper packages and so on. Yung thrill talaga na event ang nangyari last time is that uh, we have and we have and we have each Turn right heading and I'm at nag-i-explain pa ko <laughs> Okay Turn right heading 130 Philippine 971 Palipat-lipat kami ng airport starting from uh, any any airport if you like There will be challenges kasi ni mauna Philippine 971 ah. Turn right heading 180 Descend and maintain 1900 Turn right heading 180, descend and maintain 1900, Philippine 971. Philippine 971, turn right heading 180. Turn right heading 180, Philippine 971. So, uh, as I'm saying again, I know, <laughs> ATC. <laughs> yeah. Philippine 971, maintain oh, 1900 yeah. until established on localizer. Cleared for ILS runway 22 approach. Contact McTan Tower 118.1. Maintain 1,900 until established on localizer. Clear for ladders, runway 22 approach. 118.1, Philippine 971. Ito, oh, pakiya ito yung sinili ko. <laughs> so, yun, no? pahap kami ng pahap ng uh, airport. No? 2,500. Gear down. Ah. 
Localizer captured. Slowing down the speed. Flaps full. Then we will gonna start our landing checklist. Captain Cruise, cease for landing. Okay, we will first contact the tower. Mactan Tower, Philippine 9071 with you, Nihilus Runway 22. Philippine 9071, clear to land runway 22, blind 181 at 0. Clear to land runway 22, Philippine 9071. Okay, landing checklist, cabin crew advice, auto trust, uh, speed, they can make more landing now, blue, okay, landing checklist complete. 500. Okay, I think I, s I couldn't see the run, I can see the runway. Alright, oh, yeah, 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 okay. 400. It's a puppy lights. Woohoo! There's eyeless lights. 300. Alright. We're cool. 200 Ay, lamang pass Ay, may nagawang na naman 100 70 60 50 40 30 20 Retard 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 <laughs> Runway two two line up and wait. Oi, me number Runway four two, two line up and wait. Zebu eight one six. We'll go Philippine nine seven one. Okay. Philippine nine seven one. Contact with ten ground one two one point nine. One two one point nine. Philippine nine seven one. Good day. Zebu eight one six. Surface wind calm. Clear takeoff. Clear takeoff. Okay, to clean up. Load flaps one down. Taxi lights. Alright. Strobe lights yata. Eh, automatic na wala na yun. Pwede naman patayin. What else? APU. Pwede nyo nang start ang APU para pag park ninyo ay uh, prepared na ang um, power ng air condition. Para ay, syempre hindi umiinit ang mga pasahero. Ba't ang daming Cebu Pacific? Ay, wala bang nagpapark sa terminal? <laughs> mga na-stranded daw yan sa, ano, sa APEC. <laughs> Mactan down, Philippine 9071, we could that runway. Last aircraft say again. Philippine 9071, taxi to gate 6, via Bravo and Delta. Taxi to gate 6, via Bravo and Delta, Philippine 9071. After landing checklist, at uh, 8, titignan niya ng uh, co-pilot silently. Sabihin niyang, after landing checklist is complete. Aba! Hindi pala ako sa jetway ah. Patayin nyo kami park dun. <laughs> Walang may nagpa-park. <laughs> ah, ngayon lang yung nangyari ah. Okay. Yung sinili ng Mactan, I will be placing a link description below. It is free. You could also see that generally on Google and then Flight Simulator X or Flight Simulator 2004 scenery. And then that's it. We call that turn off the taxi lights when you park. old style si Marshall cut set parking brakes turn the APU bleed para magka aircon ok so we also flight attendant ngayon huh? turn off engines minsan naiiwan ko rin yung flaps 1 na ibaba dahil uh, minabasa ako sa forums na 
uh, siyempre para hindi matrap ng ice at masira yung flaps yun lang uh, what else there it is hindi siya sumayaw <laughs> pag sumayaw yan ano yan perfect parking ka now we're going to start parking checklist yes parking checklist AP bleeds on engines off seat belts okay seat belts off I exterior lights are set fuel pumps yan fuel pumps they are off and parking brake and chocks You may know the plane. Thank you for flying with Cebu Pacific and Voyager. Ah! Cebu Pacific? Oh, ano? Sa first video tutorial ko pa pala nasip yung Cebu Pacific. Yung nasa palta eh! 7229 Taxi to runway 22 via Bravo. Taxi to runway 22 via Bravo. 7229 Baka siguro nasip ko sa default yung Cebu Pacific. Well, anyway, thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope na hindi ako magkakamali ng kuha ng flight attendant ulit. Cebu Pacific ang uh, na-announce since the first video where we are riding in PAL. But it's alright. Uh, I'm just using that. FS passenger X and then uh, wrong flight announcement. Well, the passengers are now boarding. We could also have a securing aircraft checklist. Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, forgot to turn off the ideas. But uh, kaya na bala yan sa next flight. Hi! Okay, hello! Okay. I'm Bata. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. I hope I answered all your questions and then recently you could comment and then subscribe to my YouTube channel, 97SP, signing off. See you on the next flight.